Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering a short topic on creating aliases in a spreadsheet. An alias in a FreeCAD spreadsheet are used to um, add parameters in your, uh, pro in your property sheets, your data property sheets, uh, more dynamically. Uh, the, the reason I have OpenSCAD here is these are the uh, spreadsheet values I'm going to be using. I'm trying to recreate an, a, a COSL effector in FreeCAD, FreeCAD and I want to use all these, all the parameters that are that were developed in this COSL one, as well as the ones in the um, in the configuration SCAD. So let's move over to FreeCAD, and I'll show you. So the spreadsheet so far I have um, has the configuration, and I'm putting in all the values. So you'll notice that some of them are yellow. Uh, the ones that are yellow are aliased, and the way you create an alias, and then we'll show you how show you how it's used is in the spreadsheet workbench um, you can click on the alias tag so I would click the alias tag and then just type in m3 major to, and I'm matching the I'm matching the label I have here that's not necessary but it's to me it's it'd be useful um, the other way you can create it is if you right click click properties click the and then click the alias tab and that gets you to the same place as the um, as the other so now where do you use that? So let's use this M3 nut outside diameter in the sketch. So you use that, um, I'm sorry, let me open the sketch and you'll see we have a, a thing here. So there's a, a lot of places you can use it. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a radius constraint on this. And then, so wherever you see the F, um, the function of X listed, that means you can click on that and you get a, a dialog. Now this dialog will tie directly to the spreadsheet. So I can type in spreadsheet and then type in M3 and you'll see it's listing all the aliases that I already have. And so I can look M3 major. Now you also can, um, you can just type in a spreadsheet cell, cell, sorry, and that will work as well. So you see all the spreadsheet cells that start with A are listed. Um, but I'm gonna guess that uh, aliases are gonna be more memorable and more understandable. So there you see it changed my sketch to match that radius. Um, and that's actually, I think is new that it actually changes inside the sketch. I thought before you had to leave the sketch before it changed, but let's try to change it and see if it, let's change it again, see if it continues to change real quick. So let's do M3, let's pick a different, uh, we'll do nut radius. Yeah, let's see if it changes, what is it now? It's 2.5. Yeah, so they've up, upgraded this the uh, thing to ch actually change during the edit of the spreadsheet of the, of the uh, sketch, which is awesome. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe if, so. Let's see if I change it here, and we just did nut radius. Let's change that to four, and let's go back to the sketch and see if it changed. Okay, I think that's what I was thinking of. So it'll change if you edit it. So so um, selecting a new alias will change it, but changing the spreadsheet will not immediately change it. So that's how to set an alias and um, that's how to add, uh, the spreadsheet is used to add more generalized parameters to your to your drawing. Everything you do in FreeCAD is already a parameter. You can see all the all the items are here um, listed by properties. So you, you know all the placements. Uh, here's, a con here's a constraint so I could change the constraint right here. So if I wanted to change it to, um, let's get rid of the So that's so. If I wanted to change the radius to five, it would it just change it. So everything's already parametric, uh, but the spreadsheet is sort of a way to coalesce the more generalized parameters into one area. Um, and that's it for today. I hope you like my channel. Please subscribe if you do, and leave comments. Uh, FreeCAD experts, uh, please uh, give additional tips, and I'll try to include them in comments and future videos. Thanks so much. Have a great.